For those who do not know Christ, death is an end. For the atheist and agnostic, death is an enigma. For you, if you don't need a large market, death is an entrance. Good night, my daughter. I'll see you in the morning. God bless. I think she thought I was mentoring her, but I was learning much from this angel who lived among us. No matter where she saw you, she was so respectful and she will honor people. You were extremely passionate about your job. Uh, I would go on the streets of Lagos to, at night, in the middle of the night, to find you still working, stringing lights, even if it was a party, if it was Christmas, if it was Easter, your job was always there. Playful, generous. Her generosity was second to none. It knew no boundaries, impacting all that came her way. Ibidunu was polite, dutiful, generous, gracious, was strong. She, I mean, she had strong family values. I like to invite somebody, her biggest fan and cheerleader. I like to invite her darling daughter, Keke Igodalo, who would like to come and very briefly celebrate her mother. Can we give her a wonderful round of applause? Come up, darling. Take your microphone and come right here and pull down your mask yeah, right. yeah. thank you my mom was a beautiful woman she acted like a woman who came from a place no one would know she's very strong and she feels everyone's pain and she knows the way everybody goes through when they are not very happy and she helps them she does all she can do and she's like someone i don't know she's been a great mother to me and i've never had such a woman like this thank you Thank you so, so much, my darling. Please don't stop clapping on she, until she takes her seat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Keke Igodalo. <laughs> for detail and I for perfection in all that she did. Your dedication to God was total. Many have focused on your physical beauty. They do not know who you are on the inside. You walked away from several opportunities to make billions at an instant if you will lower your standards. But you said no. Former governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babatunde Rajifashala. And it has not been easy to write a tribute to celebrate Ibidun's life because I don't think I could have written a tribute that Ibidun would accept. But I have tried and I have simply titled it Ibiduni the Butterfly. And I know our hearts are heavy and our hearts are saddened with grief. And I can only imagine how unimaginable our sense of loss must be. I can only also imagine how difficult it must be to define how much we miss Ibidoni and we will miss her. We already miss her. I miss her. But whatever the case, I beseech us all not to cry for Ibidoni because she is the butterfly. 
I urge us to remember our own childhood and our relationships with butterflies, how enamored we were of butterflies, how much color butterflies brought to us, how much laughter and light they brought to our homes, and how difficult, if not impossible, it was to hold on to butterflies. Because every time we tried to catch one, they simply defied gravity and they flew away. As we longed to touch butterflies and we missed their color as children, and as they moved from one house or one compound or one green area to the other, what seems to be our loss becomes another child's game. She lit up the lives of millions of children who thronged the decorated places that reflected the hard work that the video would put in to make us all laugh, to make us all happy, and to bring color to our lives. Her light shone very, very brilliantly across Lagos. Ibido, a star was born in the Ajayi family. You had so much love to give the world. Mommy calls you Coco here. You are Mama Ayo's last born. And I always call you my darling and dearest Aburo. I came to know the most fearless woman I had come across. I remember one time, you know, then I used to work in the village. I called my wife back not to go. If it would not save my wife's life. Rela, thank you for giving me the honor to be part of your life. Thank you very much, Tokwe. Our dear sister Ibiduni, the fearless one, the courageous one, the bold one. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, Dolly and I were shocked and heartbroken by the news of the passing of our dear princess, as we called her. Ibidun's kindness, her generosity, her love and commitment to family, to friends and the faith will live in our hearts always. She was so giving of herself, her time and resources to helping others fulfill their dreams, especially through the Ibidun Igodalo Foundation where she helped so many families experience the joy of parenthood. And this she did with such graciousness in the midst of her own personal struggles. In just a few hours after her passing, we have seen the massive spontaneous expression of grief from far and wide, based on the sheer reach of her work, her love and concern for others. Even those who never met her physically were touched by her generosity and her kindness. Man of God, we have no words adequate to comfort you, Keke and Zenon, except our confidence that Ibidu now is with the Lord Jesus Christ in peace and joy. We pray for you, the children and the family, that the Lord will reach into the depths of your hearts and let new shoots of joy and peace spring forth from the arid barrenness of this sorrow, that this darkness will yield to his marvelous light and that this night of weeping will be short and that the joy of the morning will be soon and eternal. Many people know Mrs. Godalo as a selfless giver and since the news of her death broke online, everyone was sharing their own personal story and encounter of how she was so generous. But the truth is, it's really hard to truly measure how much of a giver she was because she even gave much more anonymously and she would always say the candle is coming from me she was a fierce negotiator she was very confident she was very confident in the boardroom as well and so many times we go for presentations and after saying everything then comes the time when you're supposed to say how much it cost and i'll be wishing i could just go under the table <laughs> but being who she was she would just confidently prove her worth defend her project and as usual would always get the contract she was very fearless very fearless she would drive a truck on the chaotic roads of lagos for as long as for as long as possible 
one day she caught me staring at her. I was looking at her in shock, like, I don't understand this. And then she and she smiled at me and she's like, Jennifer, um, I'm a man in a woman's body. And that's exactly who she was. Very strong. I always thought crying in public was a weakness, but she proved and demonstrated otherwise. She'd cry so openly whenever she was in emotional pain. She was not scared of being vulnerable, but do not be deceived. In the very same instance, she would bounce back in seconds <laughs> and give you a run for your money. She loved for a living. She loved so effortlessly and she didn't expect anything back, which is quite rare because most people would do and they would kind of wish you'd do back to them, but she, she didn't care if you even loved her. She would just love, she loved for a living. <sighs> Finally, I want to thank you, Pastor. Ms. Godalo would have a million problems, but you would never be on that list. You loved her so well, you allowed her to be herself. You were the one that made her happy whenever she was down. And for that, I would forever be grateful to you. Thank you, Pastor. Mama, wherever you are, I just want to tell you that I love you so much. Thank you for teaching me so many life lessons. I'm going to miss you dearly. <sighs> she, she was with me the day I woke up from a coma. She had a flight to catch, but she came to the hospital to see me. She, <sighs> I love you so much, but I'm happy you're in heaven. Thank you. Not all mothers carry you for nine months, but some carry you for life. One of my biggest blessings in life has been to know you, serve you. To love you and to be your daughter. Moren Ikeji, that was the name you gave to me. The moment I stepped into your life, you said you had found your duplicates. In turn, I called you the legend because you, were many, you had many shades and you were larger than life. A woman of depth and substance, phenomenal strength, extraordinarily graced and favored, selfless and divinely beautiful. Mama loved God fiercely despite the battles life threw her and use it as a platform to bless so many people around her. Good evening, everyone. The Bible says that the righteous perish and no man understands it. It says devout men are taken away because God has taken them away from the evil that is to come. My darling Ibidumi, my baby, my darling friend and sister, I remember meeting you over 20 years ago at our Akerele store. You know, we had just come out of mixed locks and we instantly connected. And you called me your small mommy. And you would always come and spend time with me while I was walking on the shop floor. I loved you so much. I loved your pure heart. And you know, when it was time to get married, you became my chief bridesmaid. And I became yours at war as well. I was at our wedding. That pastor, it was my original Oga. I would walk to Miko Dalo and Co for my intern. He came to say the opening prayer. And he saw you. And the rest is history. He loved you. He be to me. Oh, already. Oh, mommy. Last time we saw at our store, as usual, he said, Small mommy, where are you? I need to see you. Come, come, come. And I left everything and I went to see you. You were always in a hurry. Mommy, Mrs. Moni Lola Jai. Dare Ajayi Diro Toye Neka all the family and I pray Lord you will uphold the all the Godala's family and the Ajayi's family. My baby Sunre Sunre you will be surely missed but you live in my heart forever. Goodbye, my baby. Permit me a little more time to preface. Having had the opportunity to briefly pastor Ibidu, pastor Ibidu, at the House of the Rock in her early years in the faith, 
allow me to adorn her precious memory with some important superlatives that reiterate what many have already said. She was humanitarian. She was profoundly humane, profusely humble, truly affable and amiable person, peaceable, powerfully industrious, a doting mother to her children and to so many that were not biological to her, a loving and loyal spouse to my friend, Pastor Itwar, a fiercely loyal friend to all who knew her nearly and dearly, and a dutiful Iyayad and co-pastor. And her impact, though her time on earth was medium, her impact would take many people thousands of years to fulfill. We salute her. And as we cite Psalm 116, verse 15, it is precious in the sight of the Lord when a saint like Pastor Biduni passes on to go to be with the Lord. For there it is his opportunity to reward her for her labor of love, her tireless years of service, uh, for the tremendous work that she had done in her family, in her various circles, in her society, in her industry, and with humanity at large, and especially with vulnerable people. We particularly focus on Keke and Zina. We declare that your mother's mantle and her mandate will continue in your lives. Of the righteous, it is said in the scriptures that your seed shall be mighty in the earth. We declare the might of God, the strength of God, will lift you to untold heights as you walk in the pathway and in the wake of the work that she has laid as an example, as an illustration for us all to follow. We say adieu to her. Never a goodbye, but a good night, because we'll see her in that great morning when the day star himself will be the everlasting light of a new and eternal day. Ori sun gbogbo agbara eleje pesere mono mono ti soju ona yeri le to moke ibi o kiki amara kiki oro gbenu eni ofowo irawo wuro imole omo meri olo mi eni oni te oboni oba ti ko la ba wo koko atuni bi atuni da ata e da ata e se ele ti gbo ngbaro ye Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Yinka. Next, we'll like to show you a documentary, after which we'll go into the uh, second round of tributes. The documentary, please. Are we ready? Ibiduni Itua Igodalo was born on the 19th of July, 1980, in Koduna and grew up in Ibadan, Oyo State, to the family of late Olaleye Ajaif. Ibiduni studied microbiology at the University of Lagos, amongst other qualifications, and also became a Lux Beauty Queen. She is also the Chief Executive Officer of Elizabeth Arrow Event Company, a leading event company in Nigeria. She is the founder of Ibiduni Godalo Foundation, IIF, which was created to raise awareness on issues pertaining to infertility and to provide grants for couples that require fertility treatments. She is also the visionaire of Timeless Woman Fellowship, a forum where women can find acceptance and self-expression. Ibiduni Godalo exudes a soft-spoken and kind-hearted personality and also has an aura of excellence in her craft. Here are tributes and eulogies from family and friends. Pastor Mrs. Ibiduni Godalo, hmm. let me start from the fact that she was my sister, she was my Iyaoko, she was my darling prayer partner, 
my relationship with her remains too fast for each one, as it were. Well. She's a very loving and lovely person, very calm demeanor, very sweet. I met her four years before I joined her brand. And jokingly, I'll tell her, but I, I, I was usually very serious. She's still to date the only woman or the only person who ever gave me a 20 pounds bill the very first day we met. I think the most striking thing people see from a distance about her is actually her beauty. I mean, the first time you meet her, the first thing you say is, wow, who is this beautiful woman? I think the first thing most people will say is beautiful outside and in or inside and out. Um, extremely humble, very genteel, very sweet, very charming. The Godalo Foundation basically was born out of pain. She, she had a covenant with God and she told God that she was going to put smiles in the homes and the lives of people. I think that one of the greatest things any human being can have or do is to create, is to have an impact. And that is to give back to others. She has said to us that for her 40th birthday, she wanted to bless 40 couples, 40 for 40. I am in charge of finances for childless women. So I joked with her, I said, do you know how much tens of millions that is going to be? Where will we get the money? She said to me, Sister Liz, you don't worry. God will provide. Then what she wanted for her 40th birthday was to bless women. We don't have one. She mixed work and social life, so you couldn't really distinguish. Uh, you saw a bit of her work, uh, maybe very briefly, she would quickly go and change, join the party. But she was too happy making everyone else comfortable. You know, a lot of people see just the glamorous side of our profession, events management, but it's a lot of very, very hard work. And one thing I do know about you was that she was extremely committed to her craft. It's obvious to all, she achieved many, many things. Her Events might rent companies, but our is one of the top event management companies in Nigeria. I'm sure you can't mention three events might rent company and Elizabeth Our will not come up. She beautified um, Lagos State every Christmas. Uh, difficult to, to speak at this time. Uh, it's very shocking. It's hard to believe that she's, she's gone. So for just standing with her husband, for supporting him through the work, for being there for him, for looking after him as the voice of God. My commendations go to her and she's one of the greatest losses that the church has had in this generation. Thank you very much. We've invited a few people to share their memories of our dear sister with us tonight. Uh, Times I think I consider
ushered the choir. You spoke, you thought, you acted beyond your age. You worked tirelessly to make others happy. You be done in. You rushed your giving like you knew you were leaving. Many are enthralled by your beauty, but don't know that the inner one was much more. You shone like light in this world of darkness. When I think of you, the words that best describe you are, you gave cool one humilities. You were the epitome of humility. Families very down to earth. Conception and have a child. You were eyes to the blind, feet to the lame. Spiritually, your love to God was uncommon. Your passion was to know Him and move in the knowledge of your Father.